Hello, I'm Stuart Hillard and this is my latest video to support my pattern Quicker by Tube which is available in March's Popular Patchwork magazine. In the video today I'm going to show you how to cut your blocks and piece them together and I'm also going to show you how to use the scraps that you're left with to make a matching cushion and that's what I've got here. So I'm going to show you how to use your scraps to make this really easy and really quick and it's a great way to use your leftovers. But first of all we need to know how to make Okay so to make your blocks you're going to need to make two strip sets. The first one uses a light, a dark and a light strip stitched together along those long seams and your second strip set uses a dark a light and another dark stitched together along those So in the pattern seams. Quicker by Tube the strips are two and a half inches wide these are from a Moda Jelly Roll but you could use any two and a half inch strips cut from your stash so long as they are the width of your fabric. Now this technique will work with other width strips they could be an inch and a half wide, four inches wide or even uh, different widths stitched together but obviously they won't make the same size blocks as you need for quicker by tube but this is a technique that you could use with any strips of fabric. Okay so we need to get those sewn together and then we can move on. Okay so here's one I made earlier I've got the light dark light strip set on top and underneath I've got the dark, light, dark strip set and I've put them raw edge to raw edge and I've stitched another quarter inch seam down both of these edges. So effectively what I've done is made a flat tube. So once you've stitched your tube together, give those seams a press to make sure it's nice and flat and then you're ready to make the first cut. Okay, so using a large square ruler, this one's 15 and a half inches, but a nine and a half inch ruler is big enough. You want to line up the 45 degree line along your bottom seam. So don't line it up with the raw edge of the fabric, it's actually your stitched seam that you line that uh, 45 degree line to. Make sure you've got a bit of overhang here and what I'm going to do is use my rotary cutter to cut along. Now this part is waste for Quicker by Tube but it's not waste uh, because we are going to use it for something else. So I'll just put that to one side. So I've made my first cut, now I'm going to make my second cut. So the 45 degree line was on the bottom seam line. Now I'm going to move the ruler up so that the 45 degree line on my ruler is lined up with the quarter inch seam at the top of my tube and my edge of my ruler is right on the edge that I've just cut. And I'm going to make a cut along here. Now for safety, I don't want to try twisting my ruler around or, or cutting like this, so I'm going to flip my board around and make that cut. So I'll line my 45 degree line along my seam allowance. Make sure that the edges here are butted up against each other and make my second cut. So this would be the rest of my tube, this would be a long tube here, I'm just using off cuts to show you. So what I'm left with is my first sub block, when I open it out I've got the stripes running diagonally through a block. Here's another one that I cut from a different tube set and you can see that I can fit them together and those edges are going to line up nicely 
or I could twist them round and have different colours going together with the white and the colours together. It's entirely up to you. You can, you can make your, your quilt look different. So from your strip set, you're going to cut four blocks. You'll have some left over at the end, some, some of your flat tube left over, but you're going to cut four blocks. And uh, these ones are mismatched, and you can mismatch your blocks if you like. I mismatched a couple of blocks in Quicker by Tube for fun. Um, and using a jelly roll, they still go together and, and they look great in the quilt. So when you've cut your four blocks, you're going to join two together and press the seams to one side. Another two, just like making a four patch, and join them together to make your block. So that's the cutting of the blocks. Now what to do with those leftovers and how to make that cushion. Okay, so here's that bit of leftover, that's, that's the first cut that I made and you'll also have something a bit like this at the very end as well if you keep cutting. Um, some little stitches here which we can just pull apart and when you open it out what you end up with is a, is a basic triangle. I'll just crease that with my thumb. And this is the basis of my cushion. So, what I'm going to do, I've got four that sort of match up. They're mismatched, but they've all got a pink and a blue in, so that's going to make quite a nice cushion together. What I need to do is trim them down a little bit. Okay, so my edge along here and here are nice and straight and cut clean. So the only place I need to make a cut is, is here along the top. So what I'm going to do is put my 90 degree line along one edge and my straight lines on my ruler all match up with my seams or pretty much and I'm going to cut it at a depth of 6 inches. Now the only reason why I chose 6 inches was because that was the biggest triangle I could get out of my scrap. And I'm just going to cut across here. So what I end up with now is a nice, clean, equilateral triangle. I've got a little bit of the selvage there, but that's going to be in my seam allowance, so I'm not bothered about that. And just to be neat, I'm going to trim off this dog ear here as well. Alright, so I've got a nice, clean triangle cut and I'm going to cut all four like that. Okay so again I'm just going to line up the 45 degree line along one of the cut edges, match up the centre line down the centre of my triangle six inches down and make a cut and again I'll just trim off my dog ear, there. And there's my next triangle. And then all you need to do is join those four triangles together to make the center of your cushion. So I added two and a half inch wide strips and two and a half inch squares around my center and then I added a border cut at three inches just to finish off my cushion and this is the same border fabric that I used for quicker by tube for the actual quilt um, I layered that with wadding and backing and quilted it and then made it up into a cushion just using an envelope back I used a normal two and a half inch wide strip to do double fold binding around my cushion and it looks great on the bed with the quilt and it's such a nice way to use up some scraps that were left over from the quilt. Well I hope you found my video today 
helpful and useful and you'll have a go at making quicker by tube and the cushion that goes with it. Uh, remember you can get the pattern for the whole quilt uh, in Popular Patchwork magazine in the March edition.